The kidney's primary function is to remove toxins from the blood. Kidney's second function is to regulate blood pressure. Every minute, 120 ml of blood reaches the kidney to be filtered. So, where does the problem lie? In the medical stream, kidney is known as the renal. Hence, we can look at the situation from three angles. Pre-renal, intra-renal and post-renal. Pre-renal means that the kidney is receiving less blood than required. And why is that happening? What pumps blood to the kidney? That's heart. Let's say you have a blood pressure problem. The blood is not flowing with the same pressure. The kidney will receive less blood, less water will be generated in the body, your urine will be thick and your kidney will retain water because it is not getting enough water. The heart is the main problem. Let's say you survived a heart attack in the past or your heart is weak. I have a formula COQ10 which is present in Happy Heart Supplement. It gives energy to your heart. The truth is that the blood pressure medicines weaken your heart by decreasing the COQ10 and then your kidney is compromised. All these problems are interrelated, so you have to take serious care of your blood pressure. If you want to get rid of your blood pressure medicine, then you can call our helpline number 86990-86991. They will help you get rid of blood pressure medicine. Until now, we discussed pre-renal. What is pre-renal? It means what all problems can a kidney face. Pre means before, intra means inside kidney and post means outside kidney. Pre-renal can also create a problem for diabetic people. Diabetes weakens the blood vessels. My suggestion to you guys is that work on your diabetes, work on your blood pressure, work on your heart so that the kidney gets blood and right nutrition so that kidney cells are not injured. Now I'll talk about intrarenal, which means what kind of problems can be experienced inside your kidney and how the functioning of the kidney can be disturbed. Now you'll ask me, Palak, I don't have a blood pressure problem, nor do I have diabetes. Then why both these levels are elevated in my blood? There is a possibility that you experienced an infection in past, which means your gut health is compromised. Infection means you took antibiotics, you had an infection your body couldn't combat because your good bacteria are dead. There is something called kidney-gut axis. Consequently, the infection spread to all other organs including kidney and permanently damaged the kidney cells. Take probiotics and work on your gut because when next time you'll get an infection, more antibiotics will be given. Eventually, these bad bacteria will become so rigid that they will start affecting your organs. This is the reason that in COVID, many people experienced organ failure. Now I'll talk about the post-renal stage. The blood is received by the kidney. We know what problems the kidney can face. Now the time is for urine to pass through. Here, what happens is that sometimes stones are formed. These stones are nothing but accumulated calcium stones. What the kidney needs to do in this case, it has to balance electrolytes. Electrolytes are nothing but minerals. Calcium, potassium, sodium and magnesium. Of these, potassium, sodium and magnesium are water soluble, so they can pass via urine. But calcium is complicated. Calcium doesn't know where to reach in the absence of vitamin D. So it accumulates and forms stones. If you get kidney stones, then work on your kidney first and take vitamin D and K2. It will improve the calcium transportation in the body. So guys, now I'll conclude the video. First, if you have a blood pressure problem, you can naturally treat it. Work on your blood pressure. Second, work on your diabetes. Third, if you're facing heart-related problems, start exercising. Take CoQ10. Having protein is not an issue. Just increase your water intake while consuming it so that your kidneys get support to remove toxic nitrogen. If you have taken antibiotics in the past, then nourish your gut flora. If kidney stones are formed, then take vitamin D with K2 so that calcium doesn't accumulate.